I'll be very honest. In the last what? like two years specifically, and we've been doing the show for almost seven years, right? Yeah. Um, I used to watch like when 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 these when the shows were the content was good and everything. I would watch the, these shows and I would, I would watch everything. I'd be at work. I was watching, but bro, like literally in the last two years since the like the the thigh slapping has really grown and got more prevalent when i see it in the matches and i see it happening i literally fast forward through through the thing with with no remorse no regrets whatsoever when i used to watch the show the what watch the matches i don't watch as much of the matches anymore because of like literally in the, this is the last how, how long would you say it's been but, but roughly like two years since the thigh slapping is really you can really notice it like a lot lately. It's like, it it's didn't seem longer. like, but not I as much it's as it's been, been like, like everybody's doing it now. Well, AEW like, like, started like, four years ago and then okay, the yeah, Usos but, started doing it a lot. And some of the right. younger guys that were coming up. Yeah. So maybe three, then, four years. Then ever, then the, all the girl, literally all of the girls started doing it. Like they just all started doing mm-hmm. it. Like all, all at one time, like all this, any kicking motion there. So they're, you're kicking the person's stomach. They're slapping their thighs and stuff. And then, and, and like, to me, I you know like like at Conan, you know what like, I find I, the most what I find the ahead. most pre- preposterous and perplexing thing of all, bro. Do you not watch the show back because all the wrestlers are mega marks, so they're watching their match right. back, right? Right. And let's say right. they watch the whole show. Are you not seeing that every match is being done in looks terrible? I mean, right? <laughs> it's not. It's no all- coming up to you and going, "Hey, dude, that looks like." Or or that's the fact weird that like. Me. Right. They're, they're all watching the show on the monitor. They're all watching right. their matches back and they can't they all see right. like, dude, we're all doing the same spots. Like, like, right. <laughs> like we're all doing the we're all doing the forearm thing and the other stuff. We're all right. slapping our thighs and everything. like and I think that maybe because it is like a community and everything, maybe they all think that's good. They're all just they're all collectively just doing it together. And it's like I'm yeah, I'm sitting here watching it's like that, that bro, that's cringe for me. I'm literally fast forwarding through your matches because you're you're copying. You're all doing the exact same stuff. Your matches all look alike. They're very very, very is, similar. You know, right? I'm like you, bro. I'm more of a promo and angles guy. Right. right? Me too. But I, but if I know if I know a good friend of mine, you know, like a Ray or Santos or, or like you know Cross somebody is like working, that, like in a match, um, I'll watch, Cross, you know, right? I right. watch it, right? Right. Or if I right. know for sure it's going to be a really good match, like I knew for sure when I went to Impact that. Both Will Ospreay matches would be great, and they were, you know. Uh-huh. Very, very rare do I think this match is going to be good, and it isn't, you know. Right. But yeah, I'm, I, I'm, bro, I'm wrestling, I'm wrestled out. I, I don't, I, right. I, I, I watch it in AAA. I, you know, I'm, yeah, I don't, I'm, unless it's something special, I'm not going to watch the match to, I, in its entirety. Exactly. And to the point, I don't know how, like, you were, were you a wrestling fan? Growing up, before you got into it, you were, like you watched, you know, championship wrestling for Florida and stuff, right? Yeah, but I was, I've, I was, I, I, I let me just say this: I was very weird because I grew out of wrestling. I I started watching wrestling from six to maybe nine or something like that, and I kind of grew out of mm-hmm. it. Then I would watch little pockets of it when I was like fourteen, and then mm-hmm. I didn't watch it ever again till I was like twenty three. So I was right. like little pockets, and I didn't grow up to wanting to be a wrestler either, like. 90% of the guys in the business. Well, well, here's my thing. So I'm like, I've gone back to my viewing habits of professional wrestling from before I ever got into wrestling when I was just a fan. I would, re- I'd, I'd watch like 13 hours every week and I would record the VCR and stuff like record a lot of it. Right. right. I've gone back to those viewing habits. Cause I'm like you, I'm a storyline interview angles guy because I have right. so much wrestling to watch. It's like, I have to fast forward through the matches because I want to see what the storylines are. I get to the promos and the interviews and finishes, which is what, right. which is now I've come full 30 something years later. I've come full circle because there is a lot of wrestling content on TV again. Like, you know, bro, I was watching 13 hours, right? There's 13 hours every week. You could watch just from the main shows. Raw NXT SmackDown is, uh, is so that seven, six, seven, seven, right? Okay. Raw NXT SmackDown is seven. Okay. Uh, dynamite collision. Um, five. rampage is, is is five. That's twelve. And if if you go like impact or you know or uh, or NMS, NWA, MLW, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen hours of wrestling. Now the the funny thing about this is like you know I don't know how these and that's back before I had a job. Well, okay, also, I was like in school or like you know, I was in school and I remember played, played, the point, weeks that there's pay per views too. Di, sorry, so another three right. four hours. I find it fascinating. Like, like, where are these cats 
like these wrestling fans today that like work because a lot of them are older. Where are they finding time to watch all this stuff from start to finish? And like, but then literally, it's probably because that's just all they watch. I st- I still watch foot football games, hockey games, but you know, like I would watch wrestling. Like, I was the same way back 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 when I was young. Thirteen hours of wrestling, fast forward through this stuff and everything, and collectively watch like four to five f- four hours it would take me to watch all my wrestling. But I'm watching football. I'm watching the Braves. I'm watching watching everything. Bro, I don't think these cats are watching anything else besides these, these wrestling shows. Like like the fans these days. That's like like. Because I don't know how they how they can how they can watch anything else if you're watching this stuff from start to finish and watching the matches, you know. So I, I may maybe you know honestly maybe that's why a lot of uh like the the numbers are down collectively across the board is because they've you know they've littered the 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 target market with so much content. It's like you're choosing stuff you have to miss, you know. It's like a, and I wonder if it was just like if it was just like WWE had one show two hours. You know, Dynamite, the AEW had one show, two hours. There's, well, there's only like four to six hours a week of wrestling for people to watch. I bet you the ratings would be probably like way, way, way higher. Way higher. I, yeah. I think it'd probably be double what they are. Would you agree with that probably? Yeah, there's just saturation, bro. You've got right. NWA, you've got Impact, you got three shows on each. There's You really right. got to be a f- mark to be watching all of that. And there are people <laughs> like that. But to me, right. yeah. I watch other shows. Like I watch a lot of PBS. Like I like there i you know right. i watch like the bill mars i still watch the daily show right i watch mm-hmm. a, a lot of sports you know right. what i'm saying i watch right. you know just i have other things that interest me more than wrestling right and you do have you know you're not working a, 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 a like a 32 to 40 hour week job like like a lot of people are so you do have time to like like i don't think you'd have bro how much if you had a 40 hour week job and like you have all this wrestling, like how much of this wrestling would you watch compared well, to like, basic, you like to watch I, I basically things, do you know? have a 40 hour job, believe it or not. I don't travel, but I work but right, 40 but, yeah, hours yeah, for but, sure a week right. on that. I have to, okay. you know, where I work. Right, yeah. right, right. But, but you yeah. can be in that, like you could do some work from home while you have something, the, the game on in the background right. and stuff. You know, right. right. Which is kind of like me too at work. I can right. have my computer set up and I have the game on, but I'm still at work, you know? So right. yeah. But but these cats that like have to go to a job and you can't watch TV and like come on, and like like I think this is all they watch you know it's wrestling it's like crazy yeah yo what up this is Conan and I host Keeping It One Hundred with my co-host Disco Inferno unfortunately well I'd say you're my co-host listen every Thursday here on Spreaker we talk pro wrestling sports movies music TV pop culture and some politics it's everything the rest of the pro wrestling podcasts are not. Tune in to hear myself, the superior one, educate and inform. Tune in to hear me bury disco. That's very disrespectful. Join us every Thursday on Spreaker and keep it 100. Boom!